so welcome to the second tutorial of the programmer mode for DiceBot. Uh, in the previous tutorial I went, quickly went through the available variables and the functions and just made a quick uh, Martingale script. So I'm really just winging these tutorials, I have nothing planned, I'm just gonna write code and see what happens. Um, I think in this one I'm going to add some customizations to the uh, martingale based on the your balance and the percentage of the balance to bet as well as some cool tricks you can d use in the programmer mode in this box uh, to ease yeah to make using the bot easier so first off I'm going to declare some new variables. These are going to be global variables in the bot and they're not going to be specific to the do bet function. Uh, the important thing about these variables are every time you call start, these variables are reset to the valuable, oh, sorry, to the value you set here. So first I'm going to make a base bet variable and give it a value of 0.001. Next, I'm going to make the next bet variable equal to base bet. Now, uh, if you remember, when I tried to call start, it said, please set the starting bet using next bet before it allowed me to st actually start the bot. If you set next bet here, outside of the do bet function, it will not ask you to set the variable inside of the console. When you type start now, it will just start betting. Okay, and I'm going to set chance to 49.5 as well as percentage to 0 0.001. Yeah, that should be fine. So, what I'm going to do then is just, I'm going to leave, leave this pretty much as it is and then just add an extra part. If current streak is smaller than five, then next bet equals, no, not smaller than five, equals to five, minus five. Then the next bet equals balance times percentage divided by 100.0 end okay so what this will do is if I'm at a losing streak of exactly five losses in a row then the next bet will be the percentage this percentage 0.001 percent of my balance regardless of what the martingale does from then on it will still keep on doubling it according to the martingale script this will only happen exactly when um, I'm at the losing streak of five losses. Um, now we can replace this next bet with base bet. So this will always call this exact number then. This just makes it a bit easier to change your base bet and similar numbers later on if you want to change something in your script. Uh, what I'm also going to do is if current streak is larger than three then chance equals 70 and so if you're in a winning streak of three or more then the betting chance will be 70 else just else chance equals 49.5 and so otherwise the chance will be 49.5% to win. Uh, yes, okay, let's see how this runs. Okay, so far so good. Still doing the usual martingale. The be these bets are extremely small, so prime guys will be throttling them, uh, make, make them go slower and slower.
oh, something just went wrong here. Okay, so 0 0.00001, well, 0 0.0001 percent of my balance was apparently much too small. So then it just placed a zero bet. I'll change that now and see what we can do about that. You'll see our um, winning streak is finally above 3, so it changed the chance to 70%. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Um, one thing I want to do in this tutorial as well is the run sim command. It's not shown in the in this functions box because this functions box is mostly for functions intended to be used inside of this script. But the run sim command allows you to run a simulation where you simulate that you have a balance of the first amount of coins and you want to do this amount of bets. So Basically, it will be something like this. First parameter is the, the balance you want to simulate, and the second parameter is the amount of bets you want to simulate. So I'm going to simulate 1,000 1, bets with a 1 Bitcoin starting balance. Now uh, you'll notice that it doesn't show this output in the console while running the simulation because that really slows down the bot, slows down the simulation. Um, once it's done, it will output a this line. So this is my new balance after the simulation, well, new simulated balance. This is the amount of profit I made and I made the worst streak was 8 losses in a row and the best streak was 14 losses in a row. Now that's very impressive. What you can also do, I think, I haven't used this yet, is save... Okay, never mind. Okay, that's it for this tutorial.